please welcome to the stage your next comedian. Give it up for Selwyn Fisher. Ah, uh, thank you, man. Uh, yeah, he called me Supercell earlier. That is my Instagram name. You like that? Anyway, oh, how you guys doing tonight? That was a great set, man. I, I loved it. My man said he was like, he looked like DJ Khaled. I said, you're right. Tell another one. And another one. Where you at? And another one. See, the white guy left. He just <laughs> like, I just want to let you know that's what he said. I was like, you think it's because I'm brown? We. We can we can talk like that. No, it doesn't work like that. Anyway, um, how you guys doing tonight? Right? You good? Hey, hey, mask on or mask off? Mask on. Mask on. You like it? See, she's protected. She likes that. A lot of people around here. I'm looking right now. Y'all mask off. Yeah, it's like the first time you ever had sex. You're protected. Then you feel comfortable. You like, mm, let me take this off. <laughs> like, I'm on raw. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Yeah, right now. And you're like, oh, whatever. I'm like, I'm, I'm nasty because I'm a Scorpio, so I just do it automatically. I'm like, they were like, sir, sir, your mask. I was like, oh, oh, oh. I thought you wanted to see all these teeth. Yeah. Anyway, so I just got Invisalign, so I'm showing them off. Yeah, I got a little extra lisp. <laughs> People think I suck dick because of it. You're like, hey, I'm like, hold on now. That ain't that ain't the case. <laughs> like, I'm trying to straighten my teeth out for Hollywood, you know, okay? I know I want I'm projecting my future. Uh it's crazy because uh safe sex, back to safe sex. Um, you know, COVID then changed a lot of things. You know, you can't have safe sex the way you used to, you know, how I used to be face to face. You'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna give you just you face to face. You can't do that. Can't do that. Six feet. You need to stay six feet. I, I've, I've learned that you probably can cut that in half, though. Three feet. Just tell her to turn around, bend over, right? They were like, that way if she coughs, <coughs> you'd be like, oh, I'm protected. I'm protected. It's safe. you be like, but if she coughs a different way, and you're like, whoa, hold on. Is that beef from broccoli? <laughs> like, you ate Chinese today. Hold on, girl. You nasty. I told you. I told you. I'm nasty. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, and you ever have a woman that uh, try to out freak you? You know, I, I'm a freaky dude because I'm a Scorpio. A lot of women tell me, they say, Selwyn, you look metrosexual. I say, uh, I've never had sex on buses before. I don't know what you're talking about. Who told you? Who talking to you? Who, who, who you talking to, right? They're like, yeah, what you heard about me? Because I'm not that lady. And so then I'm like, maybe they think I'm trisexual, but I, I don't try everything. Like, I know women that do it, but I'm like, whoa, 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 that's not me. And then I'm like, it must be bisexual, but I'm not with men either. I don't do that. And you're like, I had somebody run up on me. He said, those are nice pints. And I was like, oh, are those extra S's? Like, you know, like I heard it. And I'm like, I said, hold on, player. And then he was like, he said, yes. That's a nice top. And I was like, I, hey, hey. Um, see, for me, I get straight, you know, like, I get scared because I'm heterosexual, so I don't know what to say in response. Every, like, a woman is being aggressively chased after the bear, right? And you're like, ah, excuse me. So I'm like, I tell them the same thing I tell every man that try to hit on me. I was like, look here, brother. I'm strong enough for a man, but I'm made for a woman. I'm just like Secret. I'm just like Secret. You just, shh, shh, shh. You don't have to see another man, okay? All right, I just don't understand. I'm just for a woman. <laughs> yeah, you ever had a woman do something extra freaky though? Like, <laughs> they just was out of your league? I had a woman tell me, she was like, she said, so I wanna suck your thing from the back. Yeah. I said, what? I said, how you do that? That's, that's different. <laughs> like, she's like, I'm trying to tell you. And I was, I was young. So I was like, I said, okay. She said, well, first off, you need to take a shower. I said, oh, hell yeah. I was like, you gotta be hygienic. That's right. You gotta wash your body, bath and body works. So I was like, I came over there. I was like, I've already showered. I'm ready for you to suck this thing from the back. She said, take another shower. I said, hey, hey, wait a minute, I'm clean. She said, I just need to make sure you're really clean. I was like, I could do that. I could do that. So I did that. I came out of the shower, I'm ready. Dun, 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 dun. She said, yeah, get on all fours. Now, see, this is where I fell for the trick. 
And I don't know if you know that, but babies and fools are the only people that are supposed to be on all fours. Babies crawling and fools. It was like, I fell for it, right? So I did. I fell for it. I got down there. I said, I said, come on. Come on and suck this thing from the back. And she was like, all right, I'm ready. She pulled it, too. She pulled it. And next thing I know, I felt something on my ice cream maker. And I said, Woo! What's wrong? You don't like it? I said, brain freeze. <laughs> I was like, felt like I was in 7 Eleven getting a slurping. Y'all know. Y'all know. Stop playing. <laughs> so I was like, I said, I said, oh man. She said, for real, you don't like it? I said, first off, I need to let you know something. That's disrespectful. Because I did not ask you <laughs> to do any of that. Now, um, if you do it again, I ain't gonna tell nobody. Anyway, <laughs> and that's how I ended up having five kids, you know, because um, <laughs> I did not know how to pull out. I don't know if y'all seen me pull in. Um, I, in the parking lot, I got a handicap place. Like, you can't pull out. Like, you have to pull in first. And then, see, that's a problem, because even with a microwave, that last three seconds, it's like, beep, and I was like, damn it! Couldn't pull it out. Uh, <laughs> Um, man, uh, like I said, thank you for putting your dick beaters together. I got that from the military, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my mom, she suggested that I go to the Marine Corps, and I told her, I said, mm -mm, I'm not gonna do that. That'd be gay. I was like, I'll be following your footsteps, right? And because she used to wear pumps, and I was, I was like, I wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> but she tended to shoot her. So when your dad went to the Marine Corps, and I was like, for real? I ain't never met him. <laughs> I was like, how you gonna give me an image of somebody that ain't been there? And then you know, I was like, well, it made it worse because she named him. She said she named me after him. So my name is Selwyn, and it means a palace friend. I don't know if y'all know that. Um, but I grew up in an apartment, and I was like, Ma, <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense. Like, what do you mean a palace friend? She's like, you're gonna be in the palace with the king, right? So it just made me wonder. And she used to always tell me crazy things. This I grew up crazy. My mama used to tell me, she's like, I'm your mama and your daddy. And I was like, whoa, uh, that doesn't make sense. And she was like, yeah, no, you, I am. And I was like, does that make you the first transparent? You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, uh, I went to the Marine Corps recruiter and I talked to him and I was like, man, I'm, I'm going to join. And he's like, yeah, you better join because if you don't, you won't be shit in life. And I was like, hold on, player. I said, I am the shit. And, you know, so I was like, I don't want to go there. And then I thought about going to the Army, but I knew they were going to call me a private. And I was like, I ain't really comfortable with that. So then I went to the Navy and I went over there and I thought, I said, hold on. I may not want to go over here because... Um, my last name is Fisher, and I'm, they're gonna call me Antoine Fisher, right? And I was like, I'm not related. You know, I know we black, but sometimes it just never click like that, right? So and then I started thinking deeper. I said, they call the people in the army privates, but the people in the Navy, they call them seamen. And I was like, hold on. I started putting two and two together. I was like, my last name Fisher. I was like, oh, I'm not no seaman Fisher. I said, oh, no, that ain't gonna happen. I was <laughs> like, I can just picture it, just be like, Seaman Fisher! And be like, mm, 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 I'm not catching, I'm not catching, right? <laughs> it's like, so uh, I didn't do that. I went to the Air Force, and uh, that was different for me, because uh, every time I deployed, I ended up having kids, and I was like, I told y'all I didn't know how to pull out. Like, <laughs> like obviously, you guys don't either, but uh, so. <laughs> Um, they call those war babies. Every time you go overseas and you have one, you're like, oh, them war babies. You're like, so you got war babies? I was like, I didn't leave any over there, right? So, <laughs> I'm a faithful father. I brought them all to the States. <laughs> um, man, my kids, I love my kids. They different though. And um, um, my daughter, she, she likes to check me a lot on the, um, uh, somebody asked me, they like, how old are you, man? Because you said you got five kids. I said, like, I do. I said, I'm 42. They don't believe it. They're like, what? Black don't crack? I was like, nope, it don't. But my knees do, and my back do, <laughs> and my feet do. Sometimes I be walking around, and it sound like a bag of potato chips. I was like, mm, anybody want some Fritos? And he like, they free toes. Nah, y'all get it? Nah, okay, all right. Whatever. I thought that was funny.
Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, one morning I was getting up, I was going downstairs, and uh, my daughter said, good morning, daddy. And I said, good morning, Boogie. I said, how'd you know I was up? She said, I heard your knees. I said, how for? <laughs> I said, I was going to make pancakes. It was different. Kids are disrespectful. They do disrespectful things. My kids like to stick their fingers in my belly button. I don't know if you ever had that happen, but it doesn't feel good. I'm trying to tell you. Like kids just do random things. It's, mm, daddy, mm. why is your belly hole so deep? And I'm like, first off, why are you fingering me, right? <laughs> like, like I've fingered women before, but ain't nobody ever fingered me. That's, that's, that ain't cool. Like it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful, right? So I don't, I don't have them do that no more. Um, anyway, uh, I got another son uh, named Joseph. Joseph is different. Um, he's left-handed. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with y'all left-handed people, but uh, when he was younger, he used to lick windows. Uh, like, he used to do different things, right? One, one day, Joseph was hungry, but he, he wasn't just hungry, he was hangry. And I was like, I said, he said, Daddy, I'm hungry! I was like, hey man, that's, that's hangry. And I was like, you yelling, you yelling. I know how that to be. He said, Daddy, I'm hungry! And I was like, I told you I'm making food already. Calm down. So Joe ran up on me and he gave me a strange hug. He gave me a hug. He said, he said <sighs> right. And I said, oh, he's so sweet. And next thing I know, I said, ah, I was like, ah, God damn it, Joe. I said, you ripped me in my ass. I said, it felt like Denzel Washington to train today. I said, I said ah, ah, ah. <laughs> right. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, I was like, you know what? Somebody told me a long time ago, if you pull out. <clears throat> it might not bite you in your ass, right? And see, it ended up doing that. And I was like, I said, God damn, I should have listened. I should have listened. Anyway, um, anybody ever been in a relationship before? Clap it up, y'all. You ever been in a good relationship? Yeah, sometimes you gotta go through wrong pains, you know? I was married for 14 years, and you gotta learn that sometimes you're gonna break up <laughs> in those 14 years. Like, it's not a real marriage if you don't break up at least three times, just three. Just <laughs> like, I can't stand your ass, right? <laughs> like, so um, I'm, I'm saying this because if you ever had a woman tell you something about yourself and then it hurt you, it, it's just probably the truth. Like I had a woman tell me, she was like, you ain't shit. And I was like, ouch, mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that hurt a little bit. Cause it's the truth. Like when you know you hear the truth, it's thing. And then like, I said, oh. And then she, then she went further. She was like, she said, your daddy ain't shit. And I was like, hey, hey, hey. I mean, that's truthful, because I ain't never met him. <laughs> like, I've heard about him, but then, you know. And then she said, your mama ain't shit. And I was like, hey, 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 this is the lady that took care of me. I'm a mama's boy. That's right, so what of it? Mm -mm. Yeah, she breastfed me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I stopped at four, but that was it. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> then she hit me with the coup de gras. She said, I'm gonna tell you one more thing. She said, ain't shit good about you except your dick. And I said, hey, is that a compliment? Is that a compliment? <laughs> anyway, man, that's my time. My name is Selma Fisher. Hey, y'all take it easy, man. Have a good night.